My name is Darren, and I'm a senior applications engineer at GoEngineer. Since early 2018, online licensing has been available for all SOLIDWORKS standalone users. Now it's completely optional, and you can go back to machine activation at any time. Let me show you how to set things up. Access to the admin portal goes through mysolidworks.com. Once logged in, you will see the link under your username. The first person from your company to log in will have the option to become an administrator. Admins can promote members to admin, as each company can have multiple administrators. Once you log in, you can use various search and filter tools to find users and the products that they have assigned. We'll just use a fictitious company for this example. Filters can quickly group all members with a particular product assigned. Administrators can invite members, even if they don't have a MySolidWorks account yet. Rights can be assigned with the invitation. An email will arrive with a link to create your MySolidWorks profile and login. Just fill out the form to create your account. This will log you in and show you who is already an administrator at your company. For online licensing to work, the license type needs to be changed. The products page lists your company's assets. Here you can also use filters to narrow the list. There are tools for querying as well as column display controls. Here we've removed the serial number column. Columns show if licenses are activated or assigned. Activated licenses cannot be switched to online licensing. They must first be deactivated. This can be done through the Help menu in SOLIDWORKS. Licenses not already activated can be switched to online licensing. Now you can assign the license to a member of your company. First, locate the appropriate member. Then we will use a query to narrow the list. Select the product and then click Assign Product. The product is now assigned to this member. If you already have SOLIDWORKS installed and are going to switch to online licensing, once the previous steps are complete, modify your installation. In the Installation Manager, there is a now a place to log in. This will either switch your current serial number to online licensing, 
or if the serial number is different, it will set your serial number to the new license you've been assigned. A new installation is quite straightforward. Just log in and it will set up your serial numbers for you. Now complete the install and run SolidWorks. You can even take the online license offline for up to 30 days. Since you can't be in two places at once, the license follows you. Even if you forget to log off at work, it's okay. Simply log in on your home computer and it will log you out on the other machine. But not without allowing you to save your files first. Now admins, while you're logged in, it's a good idea to do a little housekeeping and update or delete any outdated user contact information. If you have any questions, you can contact us by phone or email, or even schedule an application mentoring session at GoEngineer.com.